Hello, I'm Marie. And I'm Emmeline. And we are Wisdom Preserved. Where we are preserving the wisdom of the lost arts for life. Today we are back to bath salts. Remember when we did water and earth a few weeks ago? We have uh, water here to show. We've already used up all of the earth. <laughs> right, right. It's so fun, though, because of the multiple different layers. Yes. But we decided that instead of doing the diagonal layers like we did before, which we really liked, we wanted to play with it a little bit. So this time... Marie has a fun new technique that she's teaching us today. And instead of water and earth, we're doing wind mm -hmm. and fire. Fire. And so this time our layers are gonna kind of overlap. It's fun because it almost gives like a marbled look to it. It really does. And it'll be even more apparent when we do the larger bottles, but we wanted to do a couple sample ones. Exactly. So this one's gonna be night sky. I think today I'm gonna to try to do mm -hmm. a little bit more of the day sky. Right, right. And mine, I put little, little dinosaurs in there. Super cute. Mm -hmm. And we have stars in the night sky, which I love. This just really has an artistic view of, you know, the yeah, starry night super sky. Super fun. Super fun. I yeah. agree. So your first step for this is actually going to be to make your little glycerin soaps. Yes. So I've got the dinosaurs. You've got the stars. stars. Really so fun. cute, and don't let your kids eat them. Right, they look like gummies. gummies. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Or I your know. husband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we had some issues. <laughs> we always have the the thing nowadays. Now that we're doing these websites, right. my husband always says, "Now, are these for something you guys are filming, or are these to eat?" <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to use one gallon bags. You need to know how much your container holds. Yeah, good point. We're using the same containers that we used in the last video so that we know exactly how much they hold, which Marie is. So you want to do three cups in these containers. It'll be two cups of Epsom salt and one cup of the regular salt. Perfect. Then our first step is going to be adding our essential oils. Today, I'm going to be using rosemary and lemon. And I'm using clove and cinnamon. My love of baking even goes into the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Herbs and citrus are for me. Right. When we do these, they smell so good. Super good. Honestly, it's one of my favorite projects to do. So now you want to mix around your essential oils. You need to add enough to get the desired level of scent that you prefer. I do somewhere around 12 drops each mm -hmm. for this amount. Uh -huh. Marie's the cinnamon I is know. really I nice. I think I'm going to do just a little bit of the clove because I really smell the cinnamon, but the mm -hmm. clove is hiding a bit. Let's see how mine smells. Mm. The rosemary just ha gives such a subtle mm -hmm. herb smell. I, I love rosemary. Mm, me too. And yeah, the lemon just kind of freshens it up. Yes. Okay, I my scent is So good, if you want to have some white for yours, you're going to need to take it out right now. Well, yeah, let's move those out of the, the way. Side. So Marie, why don't you explain this technique a little bit of how we're going to okay. be doing this? Because this is a lot different than what we did with the uh, water and earth. It's quite a bit different. So the big thing is, it's almost like you're making a target. Mm, okay. okay? So you'll make the big outer ring and then you'll slowly work towards the center. And you want to have 
the layers kind of on top of each other a little bit just so that you get little bites of those colors with it. You'll see more as we go along. I, I wish there was a better way to, to tell you without just showing you, but. Just watch the whole video before right, you do right. this. Good the recommendation. The first time she showed me, it took me one before I was like, oh, I get it. Right, okay. right. <laughs> So now I don't need any white because I'm doing fire. So I'm gonna start with yellow. I want this to look like clouds in the sky, kind mm -hmm. of, you know. Okay. And then I am going, I want a really pale blue at the base of mine. So I'm just gonna do one drop of blue. And this is some potent blue, mm -hmm. my experience has shown. And if you feel like it's not quite the color that you want, just add some more. But remember, you can always add more. You can't take it out. Right, so start small. Oh, that's much lighter. I like that. Mm -hmm. I need more air out. And if you have air in your bag, it makes it harder to kind of mesh around, mush up. So just try to keep your air low. And I love how the colors really kind of get into the granules of the Epsom salt and turn some of them darker. Yeah, it's super pretty. Really pretty. Okay. I've got a nice light All right. in here. So I'm just gonna go with some of this light yellow first. Nice big circle. And this will actually make a pretty big pile. Okay, now I'm going for the light blue on my center. Now what I'm doing is I'm just trying to be on the inside, but it's okay for them to overlap a little bit. And just kind of get some light blue in here. And then Marie taught me, and she'll probably show you this, she's even better than me, but you just kind of go around with your finger to push it out and make sure that they, you keep your center whole. Yeah, you want to keep it pretty thick if you can. You don't want it to be too thin because you actually want to get a little bit of the other uh -huh. colors in it when you scoop it up to put it in the jar. Okay, I'm gonna go, oh, you know what? I want a little bit of like, so if this was to be like a, a lighter sky, maybe mm -hmm. I need a little bit of pinkish purple, oh, kind of like a morning fun. sunrise. Sure. I'm gonna actually use a little bit of this blue as my base and just scoop some up in here. Actually, I'm just gonna use this cup here. If not, you guys know I'll end up with a mess. <laughs> this is me we're talking about. And let's see here if I can do just a little bit of red. Ooh, let's see how this turns out. Okay, now that doesn't look different enough to me, so I think I'm gonna add a fair amount of orange in it. These little ones that we did for testers, they yeah, uh, had a, a lot less salt. <laughs> one drop made such a change. That's why here this pink here is now. Oh, that's gonna get just a little bit of a hint of color there. I think that will look good. Very pale, pinkish purple. Okay, that's looking better to me. Just enough. And now if you don't seal up these bags, make sure that you're holding the top so I'm, that it doesn't flop over and spill out. If you do seal it up, make sure that you uh, get all the air out first before you try mixing it. Otherwise it might floof open. Uh, not too much. So now as you pour it, you kind of want to pour it just right on the edge of that other layer that was there. Marie had a better red than mine, I think. So I've grabbed hers to kind of mix it in here a little more because I want this to look more like the sun is rising or setting. And so I didn't think mine was quite bright enough, which is good for like in the night, but I wanted this a little, but I'm only doing a tiny bit of this. A little lighter here. I wanted it to go a little bit more, but I'm going to use the tiniest little bit. Sure. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of, only half of what I made. And spread it out here. Okay. Out I'm gonna 
Yeah, that'll be fun. That'll really stand out. Now I need to get some okay. blues going. So now I'm going for my brighter orange. I think I needed my piles bigger, guys. <laughs> yeah, I, it's tempting to think that you're gonna need a lot left over, but you really don't. I need to pile them up more in comparison mm -hmm. to yours. Okay. Yeah, so you know really you're just putting them just it. on the edge here and on the inside. Okay, we'll see if we can still make it work. Yeah, I think it'll work. I'll push the next one out a little more. Yep, just play with it some. I want that to go darker. It's not enough yet. I love getting that red in with the orange. It's so yes. Pretty. Oh, the colors are great. Yep. There we go. There's some good blue starting at good middle of the day blue sky. Okay. See how I can do this. Push it out. It's looking good. Except I've covered, well that should be okay to have covered that pink. Because I really want that only Small Just in here there. and there, yeah. And you really, when you look at it from the sides, you want to kind of look and be able to see yeah. each of your layers. I've lost that little blue because I didn't go wide enough mm -hmm. like you did, but sure. that's okay. I'm learning here along with you guys. Marie is the expert bath salt maker. I think it'll be just fine. That's, that's the fabulous thing is they're all going to look a little bit different. Every person who makes them every time that you do them, uh -huh. but they smell good. They work fabulous <laughs> and they, they're going to look good no matter what. Oh, exactly. Uh, yeah. Get some bright blue. Yeah. Yeah, that looks great. It may not seem that that changes too much, but it actually does. It does. It makes a difference. I like how it just kind of pushes it. I think I'm getting more of the trick of it. Yeah. Here. How it pushed it out right there. Sure. Okay, let's see here. And then as I, you reach the end, you really want to go with something, some bold, dramatic Yeah, that's colors. what I was just thinking. I need to get it really, some purple, like the, I need to go, I'm going to add this back in You here. could go with my red. Well, and I did. Uh -huh. This one I had to add oh, yours. Okay. So I'm going to add that in here because it's absorbed that color a lot more. Sure. It's going to create a striation. It won't necessarily absorb as much. And then I'm going to do some more blue. I'm going to go for your red and I'm going to get some purple. And I did a little bit of your crimson there on this last Let's one to get see. it brighter or darker. Let's see what this does for me. We might have went too big and bold here and it might be super awesome. <laughs> I'm going to do just a little bit more of the crimson. There's so much of the yellow and orange in it. Oh, I have so much blue here. I need more red. Mm -hmm. I need red a lot more. Yeah, if you want to be bold, you got to Yeah. You can just go for it. You know what? I think we need the brighter red. I think so. And your fingers are probably going <gasps> to You're probably going to feel it. <laughs> We're going way bold. I hit too much in there. Did but, you do a lot? Yeah. But that's okay. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Who knows? It'll probably be awesome. Oh, I'm sure. Because there's no mistakes in crafting. That's it's right. It's just happy little accidents. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's going to look great. Okay. So that's looking good. But I think I want to add black because yeah, I just really want to go darker here. Yeah. Almost like some ashes. 
Well, I've got a little bit of Emmeline's from when she did the knives, oh, guys, that was yeah. left over that I'm gonna put at the very bottom and that's gonna be like my ashes. But I do want this, Ooh, this red to be like really red. Well, and this is dark here now, oh, no. but it looks so good because you can still see so much purple or so much blue with it, which this one went so dark you almost couldn't see the blue. So I'm really loving this. Okay, so this looks oh, yes. great, but this I think I'm actually going to reserve because if you look at it, it really does look like the embers. So I'm going to put that at the very bottom on top of my coals, yes. and I'm going to stop here because that went a little bit too dark, but I think it's going to look awesome at the bottom. Well, I'm going to do one more. I'm gonna actually just add black to No, that. that's looking really cool. And then that will be the last bit of my night Yeah, sky. and you have like day to night. Yeah. It'll be very cool. Okay, oh, it smells so good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now at this point, I'm gonna take the reserved black or nearly black for my coals at oh, the bottom. Oh, yes, love it. Yeah, that'll be really cool. And then I'm going to pour in this red that I mixed with the black. <laughs> and that'll be like my embers at the bottom of the fire. Oh yeah. And I'm gonna pour them a little unevenly. Ooh, that looks good. Okay. So if you can see that, that's kind of fun. And now this is when I'm gonna start the actual technique that we tend to use with this. So you, if you're not planning on having some base colors like I have, you can just start with this step. Well, mine's gonna end up looking like from the light up to the stratosphere, like the yeah. almost outer space up right, there. Right, right. No, yeah. super cool. And so then what you do is you take a three by five card and you just kind of try to get the lightest color first, that bottom color first. And I work my way around. Oops. And you'll notice that you tend to grab a little bit of the other colors at the same time. And that's not a big deal because that's just going to throw more layers of coloring in. But initially for me, I'm really trying to focus on going for that yellow. Well, and you see how I didn't quite go as white as Marie did, and my white is hidden in here just a little bit. So that's another thing to watch as you're moving on and mm -hmm. watching this whole video first. Go really big, it depend, you know, if your container is quite large. Right. And so then, now that I've gotten that outer ring, I'm gonna go around it again. And this time I'm looking for like that light orange color that I've got underneath here. And I actually want to get a little bit of the darker color with it because that's what gives you those really cool striations. Oh, I forgot my pink was down in there. Ooh, I'm starting to get that. Oh yeah, starting to see it a little more. That here. looks good. You're definitely a pro at this, Marie. All takes practice, just like <laughs> anything, right? I'm definitely getting some layers oh, in there. Oh, it looks there. so cool. And you know, I love my layers to yeah. mix anyway, so it's uh -huh. actually looking really good. I was afraid my pile hadn't mushed out as much as yeah. Marie's did. Yeah, no, it looks but fabulous. But it's actually looking really good. I'm really happy about it. Yeah, I, I love what you've got going on there. And I'm definitely starting to get my pink in here, which is just showing that hint. I'm loving this. This is kind of neat. I and actually like this better than I like fun. how we did that other one. I think they both have their purposes, oh, but yes. you know, super fun to have different ways of doing things. Keeps you from getting bored. Oh, you know? exactly. Another fun activity for the girls in birthday parties and right, right. fun 
activity days. My kids love it. My my seven-year-old, one of her favorite things to do is make bath salts and then give them to her friends. Oh yeah. Wow, fun. I'm loving this. I love how we can kind of pour it around too. And so then each layer starts doing its own little right. thing as well. Well, and sometimes I'll like purposefully go with the darker stuff a little bit more and then go for the lighter stuff. It's just kind of fun because it meshes, but it doesn't at the same time, uh -huh. you know, as far as the different colors. I'm almost to my center here. Oh, yes. Loving this. Mm -hmm. And then I love how just a little bit of that light is left over to kind of top off the top. Yeah. Oh yes, it's turning out fabulous. I love what you've got going on there. It looks so good. Okay, I'm gonna, I want these little bits of white. You uh -huh. might think, oh no, you know, your white's at the bottom, but they look so good. They just look like a few stars there in the top. Oh yes. Super cool looking. And then once we get it all into our container, that's when we go ahead and add our glycerin soaps. Oh, oh sorry. <laughs> My kids already love using the bath salts, but adding the glycerin soaps that are the fun little shapes make it even better. They, they will use it until the soap is gone, which is fabulous, because if any yeah. of you have little boys, you know that sometimes it's difficult to get them to remember to use their soap. Oh my gosh, I love this so it's much. It's adorable. Oh my gosh, I so love this. Fabulous. Oh, uh, I thought the light one turned out cute, the little one, but uh -huh. I'm loving the dark one, so, the big one, so right, much better. Oh, right. And didn't that turn yes. out so great? I love having the dark layers on the bottom, which wasn't my original mm -hmm. plan, but you gotta just go with it. Yeah, you know? yeah. Well, and look at how that purple right there kind uh -huh. of blends in there, and it makes it almost look like, you know, a bit of like the Milky Way galaxy right, running right? through the night sky. No, it's so cool looking. I really love like how these light colors shine through and yes. yeah, super fun. That orange and red just blends in. You could just see yeah. a fire breathing right, dragon with right, it coming right. out of its mouth. Oh guys, I love this. I hope that you enjoyed making these with us. Come on over to our website, upload a picture of yours for us because oh, we would love fun. to see right. what yours look like. And if you guys have any other fun techniques that you've used to make interesting designs, let us know. We're always looking for something new.